I've got all four of my children in the back of a five-seat Range Rover safely and legally. Girls, I'm basically a magician, aren't I? Hello, everybody. We are a family of six. Mum, Dad, and four little petrol head pickles. And I've recently purchased this L405 Range Rover for my wife to be her daily car, the primary family car, which enables me to get something a little bit less practical and more exciting as my dad car. Because when we're all together as a family of six, obviously we can take the ultimate practical Range Rover. But like many of you have said in the comments on previous videos, hey buddy, I think you've made a bit of a schoolboy error there. How are you gonna fit six people in a five seat Range Rover? And well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how. Come on, let's get into it. My name's Ben, welcome to Dad Cars. Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gents. And before I reveal the secrets of my six into five magic trick and why you watching this, if you've got more than two children, you can have the car that you want, not the car that you think you need. First, I wanna talk about a big problem with most cars. Even if you've got two children and they are in Isofix child seats, that effectively makes most cars that are five seaters four seaters. Look, let me show you what I'm talking about. Now the vast majority of cars have five seats, don't they? Hatchbacks, saloons, estates, crossovers, five seats with two sets of Isofix in the back. Makes sense because you know most people are sane and intelligent and they stop at just two children. So make the cars which meet the demand. However, what is less acceptable in my opinion is large SUVs like this. Range Rovers, X5s, KNs, vehicles that are two meters wide, they still only have two sets of Isofix in the back. And look, if I tried to get in the middle here, look, I guess you could use this in an emergency situation for a short trip, but generally speaking, if you've got two Isofix seats in the back of even large SUVs like this, this middle seat is redundant. And when you consider that here in the UK, children have to be in some form of child seat until they're 135 centimeters tall and or 12 years old. And look, <laughs> there's just no way that even this booster seat is gonna fit in the middle of this two meter wide vehicle. Now I have on occasion used a compact folding travel booster seat like this, which does just about squeeze in the middle there. However, with the new R129 European child seat standard coming into effect, seats like this do not meet that standard and therefore have been discontinued. And for my daily primary family car that's used every day with my children, I want to make sure the seats we use do meet the current standard. So it's pretty crazy, isn't it? That it would be easier to get three heavyweight boxers in the back of this Range Rover than it is to get three little pickles in safely. And it's true that some large SUVs do have three sets of Isofix across the back, most notably the Audi Q7. But if I'm unable to get three child seats safely in the back of this Range Rover, how on earth in this video am I gonna get four children in the back of this car safely. Well, subscribers to the channel will remember my most recent dad car was the Dadarati Grand Sport, which is a four seater. And I was able to get all four of my children in that with me driving, obviously my wife couldn't come as well, but get all four of my children in that car because in the back it had a all-in-one three across Multimax seat. And it's not just three across seats they do, they also do a four across. And right now I'm gonna fit the four across Multimac in the back of this Range Rover. The Multimac is secured differently in each vehicle, but when you order one, they supply a bespoke fitting kit for your car. With the L405 Range Rover, the ratchet straps go around the structural bar in which the Isofix points are mounted. I just needed to pop up the seat cushions to access it. Due to the design of the headrest on the center seat, packers are required, and these are bespokely made by Multimac for L405 installations. To give the ivory lever a bit of protection, I installed a seat protector that I had used previously in my Aston Martin Dad B9, which had handy cutouts for the straps. I put the Multimac in, installed and adjusted the two support legs, tightened the two ratchet straps, and was done in around 20, 25 minutes. If you don't feel confident to install the Multimac yourself, they will do it for you or at one of the approved fitting centers around the UK for a fee. And with the additional purchase of a mini Mac, it means that you can use the Multimac from birth right up until 12 years old because it's so flexible and adjustable. If you'd like to find out more, click the link in the description below. And just like that, our five seat 
Range Rover is now a six-seater. So me, my wife, and the four children can use this as our primary family car. But you've no doubt got some questions. Probably the same questions I had before I bought that seat. Is it safe? And how does it work with insurance? Because it's a five-seater car that you can now carry six people in. Well, look, I think the best way to answer these questions is if I grab the four little petrol head pickles, get them in the back, go for a drive, and I'll explain all. Yeah, right, oh, let's get you strapped in then, shall we? Right, you can click yourself, that's really handy. Up off the plane at LAX with my dream and a card again. How cool is this, girls? What's it like, all of you being able to be in the back? And we've got space now for mummy. Cool! <laughs> so the first question that you're no doubt thinking is, is that safe? And yes, I can confirm that this seat complies with the latest European safety standards for child seats. Remember the R129 certification that recently came in for all child seats and why loads of child seats have been discontinued, including that one that we saw earlier on, that folding travel child seat. Well, the Multimac is R129 compliant. It passed all the tests. Dad, this is how you talk. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> And it's worth pointing out as well that that seat that I've just fitted, me and my wife bought that before we even knew Multimac. I have since become friends with the Multimac family. It's, it's a family run business. I've done a video on the channel where I sit down with the creator of the Multimac and how he explains that he's spent over three quarters of a million pounds on creating that Multimac and getting it so it's certified and so that we can use it legally and safely. Something I've wondered myself is whether the occupants in the outermost seats being closer to the doors, whether there's you know, any potential risk with the side curtain airbags, but Multimax say that was part of the testing for it as well. I mean, the, the R129, a big reason why so many seats have failed is because previously child seats were only tested from front and rear collisions, whereas R129 requires the child seats to be tested for side impact as well. And like I say, the Multimac has passed and has got R129 certification. The next big question that you're probably wondering is how does that impact insurance? Because, you know, it's a five seat car and you've got six people in the car. So we've had a Multimac in three different vehicles now personally um, and with two different insurers and all you need to do is you just need to tell them. You need to inform your insurance company obviously and then both times with two different insurers for me they've just said thank you for letting us know please keep hold of the sales invoice so that in the event of, I don't know, the car got stolen, I guess, <laughs> you sat in a Range Rover, the car got stolen, you need the invoice if you then also wanted to claim for the child seat as well. Right girls, so normally when we're all together, we stop for ice cream, don't we? I've driven up and down here and I can't see anywhere that's selling ice cream, but do you want me to go to the burger van and see if they've got any special treats there? How about milkshake? I want a milkshake, chippy and a cake. Right, let me just go and have a little look okay. what they've got, okay? Yeah, the chips are just being made. Okay. There's a milkshake. Milky. If you did drop milkshake or ice cream on cream coloured leather, it'd probably be better, wouldn't it, actually? Yeah. Did you know, girl, you can get Multimax that are trimmed in matching leather to the car. So we could get a mul that Multimax trimmed so that it's in ivory leather and it matches. So then if you dropped some milkshake on it, it wouldn't matter. Do you reckon Multimax yeah. should trim it in iv matching ivory leather? If we drop on this bit, <laughs> we won't be able to see it. No, because it's like milkshake colour, isn't it? And like I said earlier on, you can get the three across and the four across, and they also do different width ones of each as well. So you this, can add one, can you? yeah, you can, yeah. So it's amazing. So when I get my next exciting dad car, girls, I'm going to try and get something which I can get a Multimac in the back as well, so I can at least take all four of you out, if not mummy as well, depending on what I buy. Next up on this channel, I'm going to do a seven seat SUV video on my wife's X5 just before it sells, because look, seven seat SUVs, it's cool, I'm glad we got them, but it's not about as compromises, so I'm going to make a video about that. Also, we're going to be going up to Scotland very soon, aren't we girls? 1,000 mile road trip with four children in the back of a cheap Range Rover. It's not like Range Rovers have got a reputation for breaking down, is it? So I'm sure we'll be absolutely fine. And if you'd like to see that, I hope you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on the next one. Say goodbye, girls. Bye.